That wind really blowing out upon first pitch. And that first one is lined in the left. And there you go. Gavin Napier just jumps on a first pitch fastball. And just like that, St. Mary's has a leadoff man on. He does go, and this one's right off the glove over towards Shelton. The only play will be to first, but the Gator shortstop stays with it, and that is a big first out here in the top of the first inning. I don't think you give give in right here. You got to go right at him. There you go. And they do. Chase one up in the zone, and the first strikeout for Liam Peterson. You know, keep him off balance, but don't just pitch around him and give him a free base. Eggs chops one into the ground, and that will not be handled. And that. More solidified baseball and all around baseball, not just running out of the yard and, and walking back to the dugout all the time. Go of SEC play. Breaking ball is hit right to the shortstop. They had him played perfectly onto Napier for one, but ooh, Shelton does not beat it out. There you go. Fastball there, and that's going to give the Gators the lead. Off of the glove of Pierce into left field. And Tybo once again with a little two out knock. But they would not give in with Albert on deck, a lefty, to be able to dominate first time through the order. Albert hits one right to the shortstop. He'll flip it again. 3 1 pitch is in there for strike. Nope. They called it high, so ball four. Kept or whatever, and it's in the back of your mind, but sometimes having it in the back of your mind isn't the best thing in the world. And, and, and Brian Gerald, I mean, it was another one. Runners both go, and nobody was ready. So Heyman has to hang on to the baseball, and just like that, a couple of guys in scoring position. Yep. There's a new style of catching. That one capped. We'll see if it's deep enough. Shelling that in to try to get it. He'll make that catch. Runner is going to hold up. The new style of wow. catching dictates whenever you don't see somebody jump immediately, you kickstand your leg out or whatever. So they delayed on purpose. 0-2 pitch, got him. Three nasty benders from Liam Peterson, and all of a sudden, there's two outs in the inning. Fastball that time. It's popped up. Cags will try to chase it down in foul territory, and he's not able to get there. But a heck of an effort by the Gator first baseman. 2-2 pitch, out towards short. We'll see if Shelton can get it. Right behind the bag, his throw is good, and that will retire the side. So did Ty Evans. That one is smoked, and a line drive single will get things going for the Gators here in the bottom of the second inning. Guy chops one in the ground, and that'll find left field right through the six hole. And that is really, really important for this Gator offense when the bottom two hitters in the order can get on base. We'll see if Curlin can make him pay. He stopped running. Well, that one might be out. Curlin to the opposite field and into the Gator bullpen. Another backup slider, back backside home run for the Gators. This one by Curlin, really, really good swing right there to sit an off-speed pitch and, and running out of the yard. And that's where he was really good as a freshman, being able to hit the ball to right center field. Obviously, a lot of pop. 17 homers a year ago. That's his second this year. You now he's done that so far a little bit. You know, a few walks, few hit by pitches, but he's battled. That one hit pretty well by Nathan Chong. Evans is just going to watch that thing leave the yard. Some oppo power, and the third time this year that Chong has hit a home run, and there's the first run of the game for the Gales. First pitch fastball got it up it, into the jet stream and let it fly. That was a really good swing right there, backside. On the skater staff, here's Brian Duroff. That one is smoked, so back-to-back -back jacks on a couple of fastballs have the Gales right back in this thing. And he looked like he was just looking dead red right there. And I told you earlier, they're trying to get their swing off and advantage counts and an 0 0 count. You're really trying to get your swing off on a heater, and they've done it twice in a row. And they got to locate a little bit better. Well, and they came out with that mentality. First inning, the first three guys all swung at the first pitch. That one 103 off the bat. I play with guys that don't. I know I always wanted to know if you knew. I know those things. That's part of the game. And if you don't want to know what's coming, something's wrong with you. That ball is smacked on a hanging breaking ball. And after a leadoff walk, Ryan Pierce is. More ground balls to the left side from righty hitters right here, but it looks like they're going to bunt. And they will. Good bunt. Heyman will take over and get it over there to Curlin. They're going to ask for a review there, but it looked like he was out. Mm. Wow. It might be safe. 
So they do overturn yeah. it. Yeah, throw him the same pick. They did, and Blake got him. It's the submarine guy kind of dictating where he's standing, but. That's going to be a really tough play. Albert has it and will not be able to make the throw. That's going to tie the game, if not give the Gales the lead. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Coming all the way around from first is Coleman Schmidt. And Albert, who is making his first start at third base this year, probably should have held on to that one. They're tied right now in that, yep. in that war. That one back up the middle. Chung had to wait and see what was going to happen there. That's really not the best of base running. Four homers here in his freshman year. Runner goes from first, and it's not going to matter. So now the 2-2 pitch. Splitty again, and that's got a chance to turn two. To Shelton, and safe at first base. Cags immediately pointing that there might have been some kind of interference there, but told you how quick Metam is in the College World Series last year is pretty remarkable. All right, here's Napier. Runner goes on the first pitch. Heyman's going to throw down, and they're going to try to come home, and he is out. Great gun by Shelton as he came in, cut the ball off. And trying to fill that Josh Avera role that they've had for three years. That one's hit pretty well, and an absolute no-doubter right over the 380 sign. Yet again, Colby Shelton leaves the yard ninth time this year. And that is now six times in the last four games. Hey, now, they did not lose anything from short, at shortstop from yeah. the offensive <laughs> side, I'll tell you that. And now Ty Evans, who drove in a run his first time, chops this one into the ground. Pierce will come get it and not be able to get it into his glove. Huge, and I know Ty was thinking right there, I'm the leadoff guy of the inning now. Start throwing balls up in the, up in the air and try to work on uh, pop-up priority practice. Evans going on the 3-1, but it doesn't matter. Albert's going to get the walk. One ball, no strikes to Brody Donay. He's had a good day, but he chops this one right to third. They'll go to second for one, and Napier's relay is in plenty of time. And just like that, a 5-4-3 twin killing. Score enough runs, you just got to keep going and tack it on. And then Portland, Oregon to finish things up. That ball is smoked out towards left field. Duroff's going to give it a look at the wall. Bye-bye baseball. And the Gators back on top as Luke Heyman leaves the yard for the fourth time this year. Luke likes that extension, got a little hanging breaking ball over the plate and did some damage. You know, struggled a little bit as of late, but really got the pitch he likes to hit and sat on it and, and didn't miss it. That's a really good swing right there from the young catcher. Gets the foot down and lets it rip. He knew it. That wind blowing out there. Here's Shelton. He won't hit a homer. But he'll get on base for the second time. Just right back to it. Not given much opportunity for Lynchy to settle back down. One two pitch as the runner goes. Shelton is going to be safe easily as the ball gets into center field. So the throwing error by Harrison. That's why I like to feet first. That went right back to the mound. And a low throw is dug up by Almanza. Frame to be a really good arm, right? He's yep. still, you know, pretty tall, slim guy. That one's hit pretty well. This could tie the game up, and it will. So right back to being tied again. The cleanup man, Coleman Schmidt, who did not get a hit yesterday, has a couple of big ones today. There you go again with those advantage counts, getting a fastball over the plate, and just not trying to do too much. Just. Hitting it up in the air to the right side and let the ball fly out of the yard. You have to throw the pitches a lot faster in between. That one just misses. The home run and then a single after that. Now another homer. A no doubter that's going to be out of the stadium once again for the second time today. Brian Duroff jumps on a first pitch fastball. And just like that, the Gills back on top. They are just hunting heaters. Mm -hmm. You know you hit it good when you slap hands with the first base coach before you even hit first. 101 exit velocity. Have they hit a home run on an off-speed pitch today? No. They are hunting heaters and advantage counts, boys, and they are taking advantage. Well, that ball's running right back into his barrel, yeah. and he knew it. Heyman's two-run shot, and he gets hit again. 
the confidence that they had in themselves and the confidence that Sully had in them, they allowed him to do those things. Here's Cags, another sharply hit ball, but again right into the shift. Ball and a strike. And that one off the end of the bat. Mayshore will drift over and make the catch. Connor Lynchy has been very good in relief. Six strong innings, allowing Jeff, just three runs. Jeff, how, how, have you ever remember a guy going six innings in this ballpark in relief? No. Shelton first pitch swinging. Hits one pretty well out to straightaway center. Mayshore, though, right on the edge of the track, will haul it in and just like that. But that one right to the shortstop. Medham has it. Throw is offline a little bit, but some good footwork there by Almanza. Two out of the six and two thirds. Another pop up for Shellnut. Out to Mayshore in straightaway center field, and he has got it. And the Gales got themselves a win here on the road. And just like that, we are tied at one apiece in this series. Oh, team that we said coming in, veteran club.